glory, glory, hallelujah. Lift every voice and sing. How about that one? I no longer am a slave. Christ is risen from the grave. Christ is Lord. I am saved, Paula, and I'm free. Can y'all give God a hand clap? Okay, okay. I, I caught a ride up here with Jensen and Ralph Reed, broke brilliant man of God. My goddaughter, Angela Stanton King, has, well, she's running for Congress, by the way, in Georgia. And so, Andy Carson, I'm going to speak with you in December, I promise. Secretary Carson, hello. Paula, John, wow. Okay, that, I've got three and a half minutes. Let's look real quick. What God has done in and through President Donald John Trump his family administration, prayer partners, and we just, everybody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Religious freedom. Yeah. Merry Christmas, y'all. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Dr. Carson talked about Thanksgiving. Don't pull the turkey leg off and beat people up with it. <laughs> Talk, pray. Now, this is a quick scripture, and it's over in Jeremiah 23, 4 and 6. Then I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I've given them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will set shepherds, we are under shepherds, y'all, many of us, over them who will care for them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall any be missing. That's a promise for the babies in the womb. Stop ripping them apart, folks. Amen. Hallelujah. Criminal justice reform. Luke 4, I'm looking at my time. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That's Luke 4. And we're one race. The answer to racism is to repent for accepting the lie that we're separate races. We are one blood and one human race. It's time to act like it. Okay, okay, true, true, true. Hallelujah. Okay, this is the acceptable year of the Lord, an acceptable year for and before the Lord. With President Donald John Trump, and I can't, he and First Lady Trump have caused the White House, America's House, to be called a place of prayer. Y'all clap on that one. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank God for President Trump's strong stance for life from the womb to the tomb. That includes the little babies in the womb, the poor, the sick, the elderly, the rich, the famous, the unknown, all Americans, historically black colleges and universities, low unemployment rates in this country, opportunity zones, the platinum plan, I could go on and on. And hey guys, we're not colorblind. We can see ethnicity, of course. I think I have on the count of reddish coat. Y'all can see that. What color is my skin? You can't see. You're blind, right? <laughs> We're not colorblind. We celebrate that message. Woo! And President Trump says we all plead the same. One nation under who? God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From the womb to the tomb. Now, finally, Father God, according to 2 Chronicles 7, 14, we are turning from our wicked ways. We are seeking your face, Lord. And we thank you that you hear from heaven. You forgive our sins and heal our land. Thank you for healing the wounds of America and around the world. God bless President Trump, his wife, his family, his administration. God bless America and indeed the whole world. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.